Welcome to Monterosso, gentlemen. We've been asked by the government of Monterosso to assist in their campaign against the illegal drug producers and traffickers in the mountains to the north. We've been allowed to use a light airstrip to the north of Kutaisi for our operations. Familiarise yourself with the local area map and what the airstrip looks like from the air. Our mission today will be a strike on a known distribution centre at Karid North, 42 degrees, 38 minutes, 38 seconds. East, 42 degrees, 41 minutes, 51 seconds. Our flight plan today is a simple rectangular one. Take off and form up at waypoint 1 before flying to waypoint 2. We will then make our way to the target at waypoint 3, strike the target, then return to base. Our helicopters will fly direct to compensate for that lower speed. The primary targets are the buildings highlighted in this photograph. Air reconnaissance photographs also show a pair of 23mm anti-air guns to the south of the compound, as well as some light armoured trucks. These are the secondary targets for today. Weather is good and clear, with a gentle 7 knot wind from the east. Mission start time is 0700. Beware that the air temperature is only around 6 Celsius this early in the morning. <clears throat> oh shit. Shit shit shit. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you okay? Oh welcome boys. Oh Oh no. You okay? Oh I thought Got it! God damn it. <laughs> Fucking warbirds. <laughs> Reslot, have another go. Yeah, mine was a bit clumsy then just because I was caught in the wake turbulence. Started rolling active. I think I screwed up. I turned my governor around prematurely. Yeah. Oh, I know my coolant temperature is way too high, so I got distracted. Don't die on me. Somebody's smoking. Is it me? Yes. I believe so. Yeah, you. Yeah, you know, I, think, like I think I've killed my. I could have killed my engine. Whoops. Uh -oh. Maybe your mixture's just too high. 
I think so. Uh, what are you ready to take off? I'm gonna have to ditch it in a field. You just told me that it could get worse than the first time. I know. At least last time we managed to, you know, take off. Warhug, are you ready to take off? Roger. Let's go then. Engine died. Uh oh. It's fine, I'm over the field, I can I've got this. <laughs> right. For whoever it said who uh, whoever it was who said I was being overly cocky with the engine temp stuff. You were right. <laughs> I believe that was me. I don't want to uh, yeah. <laughs> mention it too loud. <laughs> okay, we can take an active. And take it off. Dre, you're right there, mate. Yeah, but <laughs> I was just looking at something. I'm sure I'm not making it easy on him either. <clears throat> well, I can gear up. But I don't have the hots. Yeah. It's like the one time I have a perfect targeting solution on something. <laughs> it's like he's right in the crosshair, like exactly like four kilometers. Yeah, in hindsight, I probably should have put, should have put the other one in. Ah oh, well. It's fine. Okay, working and starting a very lazy left hand turn. So, what do you think of the Albatross so far, Strider? I'm loving it, mate. Really it's am. It's basic as hell, but that's great. It's oh like... yeah. It's slow and loves to wink and stall. Yeah. It's the the weapons are way over complicated. The yep. amount of buttons you've got to select to get something to fire. But other than that, it's it's actually a fucking cool aircraft. Oh yeah, it's great. The fact that you can like do proper like honest to goodness like training flights with it it's great i love it how it's two-seater as well yeah i wish they would make like a two-seater free module yeah so you could actually do like training with new people yeah i think it's way overpriced oh, especially when you buy two of them but it's it's overpriced for what it is oh yeah i, I picked it up on sale yeah I, didn't I gifted them so much cash? I bought a trailer oh, yeah. full of it. Yeah. Just to take it. Yeah. It's a fun little aeroplane. It is very much a novelty kind of thing. It's not like I a... will be flying it more. Oh yeah, I will. But there <coughs> will be missions where this is one hundred percent the aircraft to take. Like this one, really. Yeah, I mean, it is kind of like the most powerful vehicle here. 
Is it weird seeing a thunderbolt overtake a albatross? Yes, <laughs> it is. <laughs> Wee! I'm gonna get some prop wash here. I can tell. Yeah. Here we go. Left him shut out on. Yeah, I've been at like half throttle most of this time. I mean, that's what you want, really, because you don't want to cook. Right. I'm just saying, I've had plenty of extra. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so have I. It's just, you know. No rush. Flying formation is never supposed to be done at full thrust. Yeah, and why rush? Yeah. Uh, right, I'm going to lead the charge on these 23 mils. And I have Are <laughs> and I have them somewhat sighted up, I think. Uh, so if people <clears throat> people want to follow me in, be my guest. Alright, falling back. Since these 23 mils apparently are absolute bastards. Started falling back. Uh, I see the tracer going into the uh, target. I'm going to gain some altitude so I can dive on my 500 pounder. Sounds good. I'm going in for a gun run with the 23 mil on mine. He's a brave one. Yep. Well, since the, uh, the, mis the uh, rockets don't seem to do anything. Oh, great. Now you tell me. Got <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally taking only rockets. You got the 23, you got the 23 on board. The rockets do stuff, just not against the AAA for whatever reason. Yeah. You have to land the munition inside of the yeah. Hesco wall. Yeah. It's only a or not sandbag wall. HE, so. Only. Yeah, it's pretty small for a rocket. Yeah. I. It was a while ago, but I did manage to somehow kill a tiger with a HFAR once. I think it exploded directly beneath it. Right. Nosing down, running in. Shot it running in. Triple A out on me. That looks like two down. Yep, welcome running out. Shadow sure running out. Just over yeah. top of you, Sunshine. I Turning right. It's coming in on the buildings. Those things, but he did not kill them. Uh, I'm not getting any 23 millimeter out, so I think I got him. Yeah, I saw explosions, so I'm pretty sure you got him. Awesome. Switch into rockets. Hornet's running in from west. Trader is in from the east. Uh, straight a wave off. Wave off. Don't want two people running straight at each other on a running.
Hornets out. Working, running out to north. Volley in from the south. Eyes on friends. Working, what about the east on the base? Winchester. Yeah, I think Welkin's Winchester on anything useful. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. I had a ground strike with my rotor trying to land on the side of the hill. Oh. RTB. Yep. RTB. Sorry, Warhog. Look how they abandoned the helicopters. Well, what are we going to do? Land and pick you up? Yes. <laughs> I'll dis I'll deploy the um, what the hell is that device called, which uh, was for picking up downed aircrew. Oh, a uh, oh. volley device. The Fulton, that's it. I'll or Fulton, that's. I'll right. deploy the Fulton device off the front of the plane. And, Thanks. Yeah. I don't think that would work well in my plane. Yeah. <laughs> um, ooh, can I do something? I can do something. Um. I'm going to deploy a red flare. Everyone form on the red flare. Dunk. Is that your only flare? No, I've got I've got three more. <laughs> Are you Okay, I see it. Roger. I'm outbound, Tally. From, I'm outbound from the south on the uh, from the red flare. Yeah, I see him. Yeah, and I'm on a fume and a prayer. Well, I'll follow Both my fuselage and my left tank are completely dry. Well, I'll push you. <laughs> the good news is I've got plenty of speed and altitude and the airfield is in sight. Yeah. Uh, I'll let you get down, I'll just orbit. Roger. In fact, I'll uh, left hand pattern it. Coming and say good luck. 
we're all counting on you. Very nice. Thank you. Can you uh, hit that first taxiway? No, uh, no, probably. No worries if not. Kind of. <laughs> I was just thinking, with you having no fuel left, it's probably best to. Get you off the runway. Yeah, I'm off. Okay, well, Kin, downwind. <coughs> Excuse me. I just mismanaged my brakes a little and uh, ended up with too much, like, spinning torque. Uh, you just ground looped and it. And ended up, yeah, J turning into the taxiway. Ah, it's fine. Yeah. I didn't dig the prop. That's all that matters, right? Absolutely. Fucking get. And flaps. Are you in finals? Oh, I see you. Uh, well, containing base. I wouldn't recommend anything as crazy as a as a ninety degree land. Sorry, ninety uh, not landing or a ninety degree landing. Hmm. Um, I'm going for a one ten ish. Roger that. I'll try and follow that up. I'll let you know how it goes. Could probably slow down a bit <clears> further, <throat> to be honest. Welcome finals. Right, I'm just going to more orbit, um, and then I'll be down to height for long finals. Yeah, I called it very long then. My my bad. Now I'm on finals. I think Gray's still up here. Is it Warhog? That's great. Yeah, okay. while it's down. Yeah, I was kind of recovering, left the one and uh, had my rotor strike the ground on the hill side. <clears throat> okay, uh, approach speed 100, uh, touchdown speed 85. Roger that. Just notice all the warning labels. What's the best speed to bring down flaps for this aircraft? Uh, don't bring down flaps faster than 150 would be my expectation, but I'd have the manual in front of me. You'll find that as soon as you bring the gear down, it becomes quite uh, nose down sensitive until uh, yeah. until you bring the flaps down as well.
you reckon it's too late to uh, barbecue a steak? <laughs> Is it ever too late to barbecue a steak? Never. That's the correct answer. It's... Go fire up the barbie now. Yep.